Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokemon here. Today we're going to the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl OU Showdown Live on the High Ladder. And we're going to be using a Mammal Swine. Mammal Swine is a fantastic Pokemon. It's basically slow Weavile that's harder to switch into, right? And we'll be using Substitute Mammal Swine today. If you guys do enjoy these Showdown Lives, make sure you let me know by leaving a like. Also, comment, question of the day. What did you do yesterday for Christmas if you celebrate it? If you don't celebrate Christmas, no big deal. What'd you do yesterday anyway? I'm trying to find out. I just want to know your personal business. That's it. That's all I'm asking. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I am uploading two or three Pokemon videos a day. Wi-Fi battles, Musa guys, showed on lives, whatever. And my end of next year goal is 300k. And I love and I love Pokemon. I feel like you'll you'll find that out as you watch. But we got this team from One with Nature. We're gonna look for a battle, but it is Substitute Mammal Swan, Swords and Scizor, Special Defensive Jirachi with Stealth Rock and Doom Desire. Nasty Plot, Thunder Wave, Rotom Wash, Choice Band, Tyranitar, and Offensive Starmie. Beautiful, uh, this should be a beautiful first game. My dog is here, by the way. She's just kind of crawling around on me. Uh, it's Christmas night, and uh, yeah, this, this should be a great game. I honestly am I'm excited about this. I think Rotom matches up extremely well versus my opponent. They they suffer a lot versus Rotom. Uh, Swords and Scizor, one, two, three Pokemon check. Their own Scizor can be annoying, so I have to be careful. I can Fire Fang it with my Tyranitar though. I think Rotom just matches up well. I'm going to go and try and get in my Mammal Swine as many times as possible. Click Earthquake and whatnot. Click Sub. Get a lot of uh, momentum out of that. So my opponent leads off with Starmie. I think I just want to go right for the Thunder Wave. They end up going for the uh, the Life Orb Psychic right there, which isn't too bad for me, to be honest. I understand they're, they're more than likely analytic. We're just going to Volt Switch here. Uh, if they make the Mammal Swine play, and they do have, uh, they have Natural Cure. That's really unfortunate because a little bit more damage on Starmie would have gone a long way in terms of dealing with it uh, with Scizor. But it's alright. They end up going out into uh, Mammal Swine. And because I know they're not analytic, that means I can safely go out to Jirachi. They're not going to 2-KO me at all and I can U-turn out. That was a really good uh, series of plays and you don't really see Life Orb on Natural Cure too much. So that's pretty cool to see. Oh, we're just going to U-turn, keep up offensive momentum here. Uh, as they end up bringing out their Drapion, and that is a free Mammal Swine for me, if I've ever seen one. Now, normally I'd sub, but I see no reason to, as Earthquake is just hella free. Uh, maybe they're Shook Berry? My opponent is Shook Berry. I don't think I Shark KOs them, so I'm going to go for another Earthquake here. Just in case they go Scythor, that's now in range of the attack. It's fine, that's completely fine. I mean, like, I get rid of Drapion. Uh, that's their Dark Resist besides Infernape. Um, though I am a little bit weaker to Infernape, but they're super, super weak, especially now that Drapion's gone. They're super weak to Starmie. So they end up bringing out their own Infernape here. I would U-turn if I were them, but I shouldn't risk this Mon. I'm debating if... I think I just Ice Shard here for some chip for Scizor in the late game, because again, if Swords and Scizor is my way of winning, that's like what I want to go for. And their Life Orb too, so that's great. And that's, that's, that's super close to what I need, basically. And then my Jirachi is always a free play. If they go Mammoth Swine, I always get a free Rotom. And Rotom's still looking extremely threatening for my opponent. Especially because, again, they can't knock me out with Freeze Dry here, and Hydro Pump can pick up a KO. So we're going to go for Hydro. Maybe they bring out Starmie again. I like that my opponent's making like consistently this play. I don't have to predict, though, because I'm getting leftovers back. So even if they hit me here with a Hydro Pump or whatever they want to hit me with, I'm good with just getting up Stealth Rock. They do get a special defense drop, which makes it a little bit scarier, but this should be free Stealth Rock here, and uh, I'll go for Doom Desire. If they want a Rapid Spin, no big deal. They unfortunately crit me there, so I can't really catch a break. <laughs> a little bit unfortunate for me. Um, we are going to make the Starmie play, just in case they go out to Infernape, and this is great because they have absolutely no switches to a Hydro Pump here, uh, provided I do manage to connect. Great. I would have loved to get a Doom Desire off though, because they would have been hitting something coming in. And obviously Scizor can be extremely uh, scary for this team. I don't want to lose to their Infernape, so I'm going to make the Scizor play. If they SD up, it's fine, but I think they're more special defensive as Infernape comes out. And here I have a choice. Uh, they may be U-turned. Because my Scizor is my endgame and I need it for Toekiss, I think the correct play is just to bring out my Tyranitar here. Even if they U-turn, uh, it just gets chip on them. If they go for close combat, that's fine too because now they're in range of Thunderbolt and I don't have to predict. And Rotom can beat this guy and this guy. So we go Starmie. We go right for Thunderbolt. It's safe. We knock out Infernape. 
Toykiss in the endgame could be a little bit scary. If they go Scizor, I would absolutely love to hit it with a Hydro Pump. I don't think SD Scizor would beat my my Rotom 1v1. We just Hydro Pump here. We miss. Perfect. <laughs> Hopefully they're Defog. I kind of doubt it. And let's see what type of Toykiss this is. They are leftovers. Alright, we go Rotom here and we go for Thunder Wave and pray we don't get flinched to death. Because if I went Scizor and they had Flamethrower, I could lose there. Uh, they try to predict me to switch. I knew they were going to burn me <laughs> from the get- Like, I knew that was about to happen, bro. I really knew that was about to happen. So my play here is the Nasty Plot up. I knew I was going to get burned immediately, but my play here is the Nasty Plot up because I have to be able to knock them out in one hit. They get fully paralyzed, which is exactly what I want. If I Volt Switch and Scizor comes out, it's worse for me, right? So I'm a Hydro here. As my opponent gets the Dazzling Glimpse. This is amazing. This is a great, this is a great first game. I just have to hope they're not SD Scizor at this point, right? I think that's it. I just need to get some chip off on them with Hydro Pump so that way I can Bullet Punch. <laughs> Come on, fam. Another miss. Well, I lose here. That's a good first game. That's a really good first. I know they're going to break through immediately. So that was a great first game. Um, couldn't have asked for some better turns right there. No Doom Desire, none of that. Awesome, awesome first game. Couldn't have asked for a better first game. I, I'm, I'm being super serious right now. So we're going to look for another game, and hopefully uh, none of that happens to me. Um, basically, Scizor has a good shot at end game in there as long as I hit that hit. I didn't want to Volt Switch, especially at that point, because what if Toekiss lives, and then they get the Flamethrower off of my Scizor upon switching? Uh, Mammal Swine looks pretty cool here, though they do have, I mean, basically everything on their team doesn't die to Mammal Swine besides Heatran, so it looks alright. I do love Bandit Tyranitar, though. Bandit Tyranitar plus Rocks look incredible in this game, and Rotom looks incredibly deadly. Uh, this is such a good start for me, because I get a Thunder Wave off on basically anything on their team. Now, this is such a good start. I'm going to Volt Switch here, because I don't expect them to stay in, I expect them to go out to their own Rotom. That looks to be very defensive. Uh, which means I should be able to go Tyranitar. Basically, my goal with Tyranitar is just to um, maybe bait in a Willow Wisp. I don't care if Jirachi gets Willowed. Uh, if they want to Volt Switch or do whatever. This also could be the Chesto Resto. I think Stone Edge would have killed, but I just want to be safe. And then defogging doesn't make a difference at all. Because I, I can literally I can literally go for a Doom Desire here. That's just for later. I'll forget about that, and then we'll see it come out and hit my opponent. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to literally forget about it. Go out to my Rotom. It's okay if Rotom gets burnt. I mean, I, I would like to not be burnt, obviously. And what I'm going to do here is Nasty Plot. Because if they stay in to try and roost on the Doom Desire, yep, uh, I get plus two, and now I actually threaten them. Don't have to predict Mammal Slime because that's never a threat. We just Volt Switch here safely. Because my opponent disrespects the hell out of this Pokemon. And goes out to that. And now what we can do is safely bring out my Mammo and go for Substitute. If they protect or not, doesn't matter. If they go hard Rotom, doesn't matter. This is what you use Substitute Mammo for. You use it for good positions like this. I'm always getting at least two turns of leftovers out of this. Maybe more if I flinch them. And I'm just in a good spot from here. So, Sub Mammo. 46%, my god. My god. Alright, Rotom, I choose you, buddy. So again, uh, giant threat for my opponent here. Uh, this is a free Thunder Wave for me as they go Tangrowth. Nice. Um, Am I worried about Twiffy? Well, not really because I can see Stone Edge. So. I'd rather bring out my Jirachi and not be slept and get knocked off and get up Rocks to try and threaten the Mantine. Rocks also mean that uh, Tangrowth gets 2 at KO'd, so I like Rocks and I like forcing Defog. Nice. I mean, I'm completely fine with that. So we are going to go for the Doom Desire here as Mantine comes out. And we're just going to U-turn. And I've decided I'm going to get a kill. Because I have a Doom Desire up. So that means nothing is going to be able to take this Stone Edge plus Doom Desire on their team. Absolutely nothing can take Stone Edge plus Doom Desire. This dies. The hell out of my sight. Wait, what if it... Wait, it might take it. It might take it. Oh, it took it! Oh, I lied! Ladies and gentlemen, I unfortunately lied. Doesn't matter, though. That's another free Stone Edge for me. Go Tangrowth and take a million right now. 
With Sand Up? Oh, go Tangrowth and take a million right now. That's Adamant Choice Ban, baby. That is a lot of damage. So, I'll make the Scissor play here. I don't think they knock. Uh, I don't think they sleep, but it's okay if they do because Scissor being asleep doesn't actually matter in the slightest. Um, maybe they Giga Drain, though. They can knock me, I guess. I'll burn one turn. I'll burn the initial turn. Because I'm not worried about this. They also get 6 0 by Starmie. Like at any given point. So if this gets up rocks, they, they always get 6 0 by that. And I'm glad I didn't go out into... I guess Mammal Swine was the play there, right? Uh, analytic Hydro Pump is always my play. Because it's going to do a lot to Rotom. Yep, that did 42%. Is this Scarf Defensive Rotom? I'm not sure, but we're going to make the Scizor play, and we get a nice little U-turn off, potentially. However, I am going to make the Star Me play, all when I'm expecting to be Heatran. I guess we'll go for another Hydro Pump here, because Star Me is pseudo-broken. Should I just go for Thunderbolt on Mantine coming in? Yeah, why not? <laughs> why not? I didn't think I had to make that prediction, but I might as well just assert dominance that turn. That's also going to help out my... Um, Gonna help out my Mon in the back. I like Scizor because again, it doesn't take much. I think this is Chesto Rest though. Uh, either way, it's a very defensive Mon, right? But I think it's fine. And we can safely go out into Rotom here because you don't take much. This is a very cool Heatran. I want it to be known that this is a very cool Heatran. So the reason I nasty plotted up there is because I want to be able to... How much am I at? 9% perfect. I want to be able to Volt Switch out on or Tangrowth or Clefable or whatever the hell comes out. And then get up my rocks with Jirachi while dying to burn. So this is really cool. Because I get to get up rocks here. They do the exact same thing. But let me introduce them to my friend, Choice Band Tyranitar. Hello, how are you? This guy eats it, but <laughs> barely. Yeah, barely. And as you can see, Moonblast does not do much. And with Stealth Rock up, I can kill every Mon on their team. Well, I 2 a kill. Oh, well, maybe not between that, but I'm still going for it. <laughs> also, um, Rotom being that low means that look how good my Mammoth Swine is. Awesome. Might as well go for one more. Oh, I lied. I lied. Alright, we'll go Starmie. I mean, Scizor, excuse me. I didn't mean to say Starmie. I meant Scizor. And I'll just simply U-turn if I can. Nice, we wake up, which is awesome. Should be a Mammoth Swine for me now. I don't think you ever let me sub. Oh, I'm surprised they actually let, let me sub there. But, uh, okay, I'll sub after, no big deal. Oh, all right. <laughs> Good play. But I'm gonna sub again. Nice. So I'm in. And uh, I'm going to assert dominance this turn as well and just ice school for no reason whatsoever. Because they will die if I click Earthquake. <laughs> so I'm going to ice school just, just assert dominance for no reason whatsoever. Because Rodan would have died anyway. But I want to assert dominance. <laughs> I, I want to assert dominance with my Mammal Swine. Uh, Clefable has not met my friend, Young Mammal Swine. Clefable has met my friend, Young Mammal Swine. And um, they don't really see eye to eye. Damn, that boy took nothing. Whatever. You know what you do. You're behind a sub, so. They call me It's Gator. I don't think I have much left, so I'm just going to go for this again. Clefable's always in the defensive versus here. Make the Rotom play now. Going to Thunder Wave them to help my uh, Icicle Crash chances later. And then we'll Volt Switch here. I get a crit, which means I can bring out Tyranitar and stop them. They do manage to break through, unfortunately. But it's not the end of the world. Mm, they could flame. I don't know what their set is. I'm assuming it's flamethrower. Like, the last move has to be flamethrower. Like, I get a kill whenever Starmie comes out. So, I'll just use this and click crunch. Doesn't matter if they wish or beat me down. 
it's just about weakening them with crunch. It's just about weakening them with crunch as they get uh, fully paralyzed there. Again, them being paralyzed is what I want because that's going to open up my mammal swine a lot. <laughs> Look at me getting crazy luck versus this guy. Tyranitar, I like what you're doing, but I want you to die so I can bring out Mammal Swine. There you go. Good job. You deserve a good rest. So now we can safely just click Icicle Crash, I think. With them being paralyzed... I mean, they don't have that many wastes left. Oh my god, Mammal Swine's a demon, bro. The guy does not care. The goat does not care. There we go. There we go. That's young mammal swine for you. Let me click crash crash again just in case they're crazy and go tangrowth. I don't know why, like I felt like they would. Their mammal swine comes out. They're also leftovers, which means they can't kill me, and I believe I kill them back. I don't think mammal swine kills mammal swine. Can you get rid of this choice band demon set? Earthquake does 54 to 66. But they chose to click stealth rock. <laughs> Eye Shard does 11. Perfect. Get the hell out of my sight. I don't know why they chose to click Stealth Rock there, but I'll take it. Um, not sure why this came out. Maybe they thought I was adamant just because that thing outsped me. But yeah, you saw Mammoth Swine putting a lot of work there. Definitely, uh, definitely a lot of scariness from that Clefable, but I mean, I did Paralyze and do that. But to be fair, I was also complaining in the first game about it. But nobody likes when they get lucked, and they like when they get luck. I don't know why this is such a hard concept for people to understand. I've had people complain, like, bro, why are you always complain when you get luck? Are you are you serious, bro? Do you complain when you, you know, have, like, you step on a nail, or, you know, you jam your toe? No? Oh, okay. Do you laugh <laughs> when it happens to your friend, but then you ask them concerningly if you're okay? Yeah? Cool. That means you have friends. That's good. <laughs> this analogy has nothing to do with what I'm talking about at all. Did I say I have merch available? I feel like I did. Also, code AIM, I think, is 30% off if y'all want to pick up some G Fuel. It's caffeinated energy drink, though, so be aware of what you're drinking. Shaker, 18 plus, uh, obviously. Um, but Hydration Line has zero like calorie, caffeine, all that stuff. Uh, I do want to say, though, that my Drop of Draco Shaker is hopefully, 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 hopefully coming next year. I mean, it's guaranteed coming next year. But hopefully, you know, we know sometime, you know, sooner than that. But, uh, but yeah. So, cool team for my opponent. I really like Rotom to check Azu. Uh, they get messed up by Starmie. One, two, all. And I like Jirachi a lot too because I can Doom Desire. They might taunt me, but that's fine. I'm going to Doom Desire immediately just to break a potential Sash. I don't really care about this guy either because I, I I don't need Jirachi to take on anything so I can get up rocks there. And then we can U-turn out and bring out Mammal Soil. That's Specs. That has to be Specs, right? Let's make sure. Yeah, I gotta be specs. So cool. We go mammal. Sub up. Now by me going for substitute. Ooh, mammal about to go crazy. Does I shark? I mean, I shark's only my best play. Why am I calculating? Let me let me find out if I shark kills. Nope. But they defog there, which was a misplay because I'm gonna get like kill after kill with this mon. <laughs> I don't need rocks or anything else. I only need mammal swine for salamence. They're literally going to lose a Pokemon here. <laughs> they can't do anything about it. They can't. This Mon is going to go... It's going to kill a one or after two. I am completely fine with them going out into Jirachi there. Uh, excuse me, Azu. I'm going to go Jirachi just in case they expect my Rotom. Actually, who cares? Let's just go Rotom Raw, right? I don't know why I'm feeling Hydro Pump and Needle King, but yeah, I think that my opponent has to make plays like that. So that's why I expect them to go out to that. Cool. So we get rid of Needle King there. I'm still healthy enough to take on that. Magnet Zone comes out. I always have a free Jirachi here. Uh, I, they might Flash Cannon, but who cares? They Thunderbolt, which means I get up Rocks. Which they seem pretty desperate about, yeah, defogging away. So I wonder if one of these were Focus Sash, but look how much work Mail Whistle I put in, man. The Saab beating Arrow, it forced that. I mean, I guess I predicted with the Hydro Pump, but 
It was just more so a play, like, it was low risk because who cares? I take the next player off, and then they can't belly drum up later, so it's not like they're going to be a threat, and they get 6-0 by Starmie, right? So I wasn't really worried. That's also, I guess, why some Jirachi runs enough speed for, for zone. Though, I mean, I'm faster than zone if it was modest anyway, which it was based on that damage. Uh, the lower roll modest. Um... People are starting to comment on that Alakazam is broken video. Uh oh. <laughs> Ooh, Ty Carter. Oh shoot, I get six owed by uh, for alligator, so I have to keep Ronum healthy no matter what. Like no matter what, Ronum has to be healthy. Uh, always. I want rocks up for these guys. Uh, we're gonna always go Jirachi lead. You. Yeah, Ronum has to be at a hundred percent always for for alligator. I will lose to it. Um, I'm gonna deal with Latios via Scizor plus plus Mammal Swan. Mammal Swan, Mammal Swan, Mammal Swan, Mammal Swan. Threat. I don't mind Final Gambit at all. I'll get up Stealth Rocket I can. That looks to be, I would say, Choice Scarf, maybe. Gonna Doom Desire here. I'm just gonna protect this turn, too. Basically, I want damage on Garchomp. Nice. So I get the best case scenario. I want damage on Garchomp so I can knock it out with Starmie, so I can knock it out with Mammal Swine. I didn't expect an Earthquake there, so that's why I went for that play. But yeah, that's the damage I need, even if it's Yachi Berry, it doesn't matter. Ice Beam is my play. We knock him out. They were Yachi, they were Yesh, but it dies. So that's great. That Mon's dead. Perfect for me. Staraptor comes out. We always go out to Jirachi here. As they U-turn, Staraptor's now in range of my attack. I protect here on uh, Magnezone. And now I Doom Desire as Scissor comes out. And that Doom Desire is just starting to look a little crazy, bro. Unfortunately, Scissor's a threat. <laughs> Gonna protect. Will you turn here? Oh, I hate this turn. Whatever comes out takes a Doom Desire, right? I want to keep Tyranitar alive so I can KO Scissor, because Scissor's going to be a threat. Am I gonna lose to Latios? All right, I'll bring out Mammal Swine. I hate to bring it out here, but it's the one mod that could take this. And if they go Latios, they they drop to Ice Shard. If they go for Alligator, I get the chip I need. Yeah, so they're gonna die to the Ice Shard there if I go for it, which I will. I'm not gonna predict them going Scizor. That's like completely fine for me. That's actually amazing for me, I would say almost. Because Starmie, because uh, Bullet Punch can mess them up. But I'm going to keep this guy alive if I can. Okay, I'm assuming they roost here. However, they have no, they have no choice ban Tyranitar switching. So I'm going to bring out Tyranitar now. I'm going for Fire Fang. Let's go, Bantar. Let's go, baby. I'm assuming they go Gator now. Yep. Ice Shard is going to be able to clean up these guys. I did keep Rotom healthy specifically for this moment. And I have Sand and I have Bullet Punch and I have all that. So unless I unless I get crit here, I shouldn't be able to lose. And then they should die to Mammoth Swine. Nice. That does enough damage. I don't think, actually, why would I not protect here? Because they can't rest or anything, right? I protect, I stall out Sand, and then um, I just make the Tyranitar play to make sure they die gracefully. Well, they die here, and then I go Mammoth Swine, and I win the game. Unless, I guess, this is quick attack, but I doubt it. But yeah, we should be able to go Mammoth Swine now. Ice Shard, Ice Shard, Earthquake, Knockout, Zone, that should be game. You have quick attack, brother? You would have to be giving up everything. I'm pretty sure this is game. Yep, that's one. There we go. And Mammal Swine just cleans up now. And that's two. Unless you're Scarf. Good game. Hey, big Mammal Swine going crazy on High Ladder. I played the way versus Guard. Like, I, I, I just want to try and make my homie get as much chances to do its job. You know what I mean? Like, look how much work. My boy, uh... Mammal Swan put it in there. That was nice. I thought that was a really nice game. I'm happy about that. You okay, Puka?
I knew that I couldn't let Rotom take a hit, which is why I had to play really weirdly around their Scizor. Which I'm assuming was Defog anyway. But, yeah, you saw how much plus one crunch did to fully physically defend. You want to get out? You can get out. I'll open up the door for you. You know what? I'll take you out myself. I'll, uh, I don't like, I, I think it's a good time to end the video because Mammal Swine just put in a lot of work and we got to see a nice little mini sweep at the end. Uh, yeah, but Mammal is a great Pokemon. Um, it's an incredible OU threat in my opinion. Uh, Substitute, I hope you guys got to see how cool Substitute Mammal was, even though sometimes I didn't even click it, but other times it, it, laid, it basically let me get like free turns. Do you want to go outside? You can go outside. Here, I'll open it up. Um, and let me get free turns versus a lot of people. Come here, Pogo. She's just smelling my office. And it was able to obviously, you know, protect me at times as well and allow me to click Icicle Crash and Icicle Spear or whatever the hell I wanted to click and just put in some work. But I hope you guys enjoyed this High Ladder Live. Uh, if you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, my friends.